Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's nice to have you guys here again. My returning subscribers, oh my gosh, thank you so much for coming back. I love you guys. Thank you for always supporting me. And if you are new here on my channel, my name is Tommy. Nice to meet you. My full name is Tommy Waziri. I am also known as the Blind Illuminator. I am a blind person actually. Um, I was in this way three years ago. I lost my sight to an arm robbery attack. I was shot in the face and that's how I became blind. So yeah, I'm just doing this random video to encourage somebody who might just be listening to me or watching this video because even blind people are going to be seeing this video as well. Oh, sorry, listening to this video. But before I go ahead, if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please subscribe. Please like my video, share this video. My YouTube channel, the revenue from my YouTube channel is going to my NGO, which is dedicated to putting food on tables of persons with disabilities, getting accessible equipment for persons with disabilities. So please guys, subscribe and always come back to see my videos. It goes a long way. Um, thank you so much. And don't forget to turn on the bell so that you get notified, so that you get notified when we um, post new videos. Um, so, like I said, this, this is like a random video. This is just to encourage anyone who is gonna see this video. You know, who is gonna listen to this video. You see guys, I I didn't plan to be this way. I was sighted for 27 years of my life. A couple of you guys know my story, for, but for the sake of people who are getting to meet me for the first time, you see, it was tragic. Imagine you having big plans, you know, for the future and all those plans, you need your eyes, not just to, achieve them not just to execute them but also to see what you have achieved and now i can only imagine all what i've been able to achieve so far for the past three years i can only imagine my outreach to you know the juvenile home for boys why i did that was because i forgave the young man that did this to me oh i didn't talk about that if you guys want to know more about it, that's the story of how I became blind, I will put a link down in the comment section or in the description, one of the two. And I want to encourage someone today who might be watching this and you think life is unfair to you, you're almost giving up. You see guys, everybody in the world is going through one thing or the other. Nobody has a perfect life, even the richest person in the world doesn't have life perfectly nobody sometimes even money cannot buy you happiness what happens when for example those people who have illness or um like lung disease cancer stuff that money cannot heal what do you think they are going through right now or are you the one going through that right now see i want to tell you this while you still have life Live it to the fullest. Live the best of life. Yes, I know this might be hard. Life might be hard. You might be going through hell right now. So we will say, oh, I'm going through hell. Life is tough and what have you. Trust me, everybody in this world has been through their own hell. And we will continue to go through challenges. And that's just the bitter truth. But one thing I want to say to you who might be listening or watching me right now, I just want to say that one way that you can overcome challenge and not let challenge have the best of you is to anticipate it. So first of all, knowing fully well that challenges is bound to be, is meant to be, it's meant to happen, it will come. But don't let it steal your joy away. It's just like when they say, don't forget to make a life while making a living. When you're making a living, there'll be challenges. You go out to work, there'll be challenges. In your workplace, there'll be challenges. But don't stop it from making you to live a life. Create good memories. Give yourself holidays. Give yourself vacations. Is life hard for you now? You're listening to me. You're not the only one. If I can do it, if I can be able to overcome depression, if I can be able to overcome suicidal thoughts, 
and I did it in a matter of seven days a week. What makes you think you can't? I don't have two heads. But you see, guys, what makes me different from those people who might have become disabled, lost their sight like me, and they are still depressed for 15 years, 20 years? What's the difference between me and them? The difference is I chose happiness. I chose to first of all accept my new identity as a blind person. I chose to accept this ordeal. I chose to embrace the challenge and see how I can turn this mess to a message, see how I can, you know, turn the lemons to lemonades. And right now, why did they call me the blind eliminator? Because I use my experience to light up hope in the world in every way that I can. And that's exactly what I'm doing right now. So if you think life is unfair to you, think deep, you're not the only one. Just look around. Sometimes you just have to be grateful for what you have. If you think life is unfair to you, I want to dare you to do something. Go to the hospital. I want to give you that. I mean, just go to the hospital, go to the emergency ward. Nobody's going to teach you to be grateful. And if you are here listening to me, you are watching this video and you are in the hospital going through hell, fighting cancer, you are the real heroes. You are in the hospital facing a illness or what have you. And see guys, this is not to disrespect you if you don't have health issues and you are going through a lot in life. But if you have life, there is hope. How about those people who have been told that they don't have they have just 2% chances to live, 2% chance of survival. Six months to live, two months to live. And you see them smiling, knowing fully well that, okay, let me live the rest of my life happily. Do you find yourself in that position? Many of us don't. And look at these people who are supposed to be like good example to those of us who are still alive. You have good health, be grateful. You have roof over your head, be, be grateful. You can eat, be grateful. There's always something to be grateful for. So, I mean, this is not a scripted. I, I didn't have any script for this. In fact, funny enough, I do even have scripts for my videos. I just put it out the way it comes. So I just felt like somebody needed to read this. It's not about the numbers. I just feel somebody needed this. If high, told me Waziri can overcome depression and trust me I cried guys I had times when I cried I felt it was the end of life but why stay there I still had life so why would I steal from my own joy why would I use my own hands to chain myself down life may be unfair to you guys but guess what you have life and as long as you have it there's hope and I'll end with this quote. I always love this quote from Nightbird. This lady, rest in peace, Nightbird. She died of cancer. And she reminded us of something. She left us with this amazing quote. And it goes like this. Don't wait until life is no longer hard before you decide to be happy. How long will you wait to live a happy life? choose happiness I chose happiness and it helped me right now I'm married I'm happily married my wife sees this positivity about me I have a son I choose to live the best of life I still go out I stay have fun do it while you can and with that said thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe turn on the bell so you get notified when I post new videos and please like this video please support us like this video it does a lot i'm a person with disability this is my full-time job i'm a full-time youtuber please share this video to encourage somebody as well and with that said i i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much bye for now